Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today we're going to quickly go over the wave modifier in Blender. So we really don't need our default cube so let's go ahead and select him and hit X and get rid of him. So we're going to go into view, top view. Uh, we're going to center our cursor. You can do this by hitting shift S and then cursor to center. So it's right in the middle. Going to hit space, add a plane, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So S and then hit 3. All right, that should be big enough. So from here, all we have to do is go into the little wrench icon, the modifiers, add modifiers, and go down here to wave. Now with that working, all we have to do is hit Alt A to animate and our plane will start to move. Ta-da! Now this is, isn't very exciting uh, as of yet. This is a plane bouncing up and down. Uh, but even at this point you can do something with it. So if you're making a factory scene and you kind of wanted some kind of hammer object to go up and down, you can use the wave modifier just deselect the X and Y uh, motion here and it'll just move up and down uh, as long as you want. Uh, so what we need to do, uh, since there are just four vertices uh, in here, it's not really going to do much. So what we need to do is hit W, hit subdivide a few times to create a few more uh, vertices for it to work with. And so as you can see, uh, when we hit Alt-A again, it actually starts to look like uh, a wave going up and down and up and down. All right, so this wave is from the uh, center of the plane. We can actually uh, change the motion axis so we can deselect X and it'll only move on uh, one of the axes. Uh, we can select X and deselect Y and then move on the other axis, just like uh, a real wave would. So we can actually uh, change some of these options here. Uh, one of the first ones I want to show you is speed. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a pretty fast wave. We might want to bump this uh, speed down a little bit. So let's go here and change this to point one maybe still a little fast for a real looking wave so point oh five maybe uh, that looks decent alright so now we kinda have a wave going so uh, if you want to make an ocean scene uh, you can use this wave modifier to kinda just make the uh, waves in your ocean alright we can make various changes to the waves uh, for example we can go down here and we can change the width of the wave so we can make this a lot uh, bigger huge big wave or we can make these really 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 short little waves so you can play with the width you can uh, select the narrowness of the wave. So here's a real uh, narrow wave going through uh, as opposed to a very not narrow, very long uh, wave. We can also set the height of the wave. This is a wave that has a huge height. I turn it all the way up to its maximum value which is 2. Um, or we can have, uh, we can actually put negative values, uh, so it can actually go below. Or we can just put in a small value, 0.5, uh, make this a little smaller, 0, 0.5, make very, very, very small little waves. So let's actually bring that up a little bit. Not to one or point five should be good. All right. Uh, also, we have our position 
um, options here. So as you can see, the wave starts here and moves across. We can change that uh, and offset it a little bit. Uh, this works actually better uh, when we're doing both axes. So select X and Y, and as you can see, uh, from the corner there, that's where the wave is starting and going out. So if we were just to select 0, 0, this would be the center, and this is by default. This is where the wave starts. Uh, but we can change it, like 1 here, and it'll start uh, from this corner, or negative 1, uh, and it should start from the other corner. So you can kind of set where you want your wave uh, to start. All right, well, that's uh, basically it for this tutorial. Just going over the basics of the wave modifier. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to also join our Facebook group, Super 3 Boy Blender Tutorials. So uh, search that. There's also a link in the video description. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial, and happy blending!